everybody, it's Vera Wild, and I am, at the time of recording this, I am in Montreal for the Montreal Burlesque Festival. I actually performed in the, um, the opening night of the festival. Um, I'm back in my hotel room from that. I am kind of beat, but I did want to shoot this video um, before I went to bed because this is something I've been thinking about and and I need I need to get better about shooting these things when I'm when I'm done up, whether I have done it specifically for the video or for something else and just happen to have my camera handy. So I wanted to talk about pronouns. And when I realized that I hadn't talked about this before, it struck me as a little bit odd because you'd think this would have come up by now for as long as I've been doing these videos. But the thing is, is that people asking for preferred pronouns is something, at least in my case, I've only encountered in the last year, two years, maybe. It's a fairly recent thing for me. And by and large, people would just sort of try and, and guess and go with, their, go with their best guess. People weren't really asking. I think just because it was uh, something that they thought might be rude to ask. But I think it is getting to the point where people understand that it's probably a good idea uh, when you're dealing with someone who it's, it's kind of an open question. So as far as pronouns go, there are of course the traditional masculine feminine pronouns, uh, he, him, she, her. Um, some people are using the, uh, the plural of they, them, but as singular. So you can use they, them as a, as a singular gender neutral. Um, that can be a little bit odd for some people. It honestly is odd for me just because it's, it's so ingrained in my head that they, them is plural. So using it as a singular throws me off. Um, but it, it is an option. Um, and some people um, do offer that. I have friends who, who prefer that. Unfortunately, there isn't really um, a, a universally embraced uh, singular gender neutral term, at least not in English. I've seen a number of things that have been floated or that have been trying to take off um, like Z-Zim um, as an attempt to get a general gender neutral. They're not taking off. Um, and, and maybe before too far down the line, we'll have a, a fairly universally accepted um, gender neutral singular term, but uh, right now we, we really don't. So in terms of pronouns, what can be sort of an additional level of complication for people who are cross-dressers or who are gender fluid is that we don't get to just give a straightforward answer. So like someone who is transgender, and I, with what I'm about to say, I am by no means implying that being transgender is somehow easier. Um, but in this particular case, if someone is transgender, it, say for instance, they're born male, they are transitioning to female. If someone asks them, what's your preferred pronouns? They could just say, she, her, female pronouns. That's what I use. And that's it. But for someone like me, and, uh, and a fair number of, of my viewers, you know, it's situational. <laughs> Sometimes one pronoun will be more appropriate than others. And it's gotten a bit murkier for me lately. Um, so traditionally, I, I used to just tell people, address me as I'm presenting. Cause I used to um, just very clearly present all female or all male. Um, and it was very obvious which one I was going for. These days I do, well, I do what you're seeing or, or things like this a bit more where I will kind of straddle the gender line and, and not be as clear cut um, with what I'm going for. And that can, that can make things a little bit trickier um, in terms of people seeing a signifier for which you're, which pronouns you're going with. For myself, what I've ended up doing, what I've ended up telling people is um, go with whether or not I'm wearing lipstick. If I'm wearing lipstick, then um, address me with female pronouns. If I'm not, go with male. Because if I am, say, uh, you know, if I don't have lipstick, but you know, maybe I'm wearing these frames or, or more dangly earrings or something like that, 
Um, I, I'll still, masculine is probably still more appropriate, but if I've gone to the trouble to put on the lipstick, then I, I'm putting the effort into wishing to present more feminine, and, and in that case, I will prefer she, her, female pronouns. So, um, that, that was the go-to for me, is giving um, my friends a signifier, because that, that's the other thing, is that people, people want to get it right. Usually. Um, you will probably encounter some people who are just jerks, who will purposefully misgender you um, just to, you know, troll or just to sort of reject your gender identity for whatever reason. And But assuming you're not dealing with someone like that, and in my experience, it's very obvious when someone is like that, um, then you need to remember that if someone gets your pronouns wrong, that when you correct them, you should do so politely, but also quickly. It's my own personal opinion that if you hear someone misgender you, the best thing to do is to jump in as soon as you hear it. And so if a conversation is going on and someone misgenders you, then I really strongly recommend that as soon as you hear what you jump in and go, I, sorry to interrupt, I actually prefer female pronouns. So I'm sorry, go ahead, you were saying? And basically something to that effect. I know some people instinctively want to like wait for a pause, wait for the person to stop talking. Um, but I actually think that makes things more awkward because, well, first of all, for you, you're just, you're, you're gonna zone out the entire latter half of what the person's thinking is. You're just waiting for your opportunity to jump in. And it also it can leave them in a case of, oh, well, were you just waiting to say that? Were you listening? And you can get an awkward pause. So in my experience, it's best to just jump in as soon as you hear it, address it right away, address it quickly, politely, and then move forward. And realize that there probably will be people that you will have to correct more than once. And again, unless they're being jerks and I think it's usually obvious. Just try and maintain your cool about it because I know for some of us, this can be a point of real frustration, especially if we don't have a lot of people who will validate our gender identity with correct pronouns. So when someone gets it wrong, for some of us, it can be, it, it can be something that just, ugh, just gets us uh, upset, but again, I think it's best to try and rein that in because most people want to get it right. And I think that's reflected in the fact that actually asking what are your preferred pronouns is becoming a more common question. People don't want to just be reactionary. They want to be proactive. They want to get it right. And I think that speaks to a shift that's happening that I, for one, am kind of heartened by, especially with, um, a lot of the other stuff going on in the world and, and people's opinions towards folks like me. So I think that about does it. Um, and you know, it's, it's fine for your product. You, actually, you know what's something that you can find? I got, I got one of these off Etsy. You can actually find pins with pronouns on them. So if, if you are the kind of person who doesn't feel that's totally out of place or awkward, you can get a pin that says she, her, or um, he, him. In my case, I actually have one that says she, they. I don't really use they pronouns too much, but I know when I present like this, I there are friends that I have that I can tell like they would actually be more comfortable using they, them with me than just straight up feminine. And that's, so that pin is more sort of my way of like, that, if you want, you can. My own preference is still just to go with, with female, again, if the lipstick is on. So I think that'll about do it. Um, yeah, pronouns, it's, it can be a minefield. It can be confusing and both for, for us and for the people around us. I'm incredibly lucky because I, I haven't had anyone really get uppity with me about pronoun correction or anything like that. So um, that can happen, unfortunately, but just if you know how you would prefer to be referred to, um, 
just be prepared to let people know and be prepared to answer the question if it is asked of you. I'm still getting used to that if I'm being honest. So uh, yeah, that'll about do it. So thanks so much for watching guys. Um, I hope you'll take a bit of time to check out my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description and one at the end of the video. Um, I really appreciate the support. And uh, you can see I've got some names up there of some of my supporters. So there are rewards and there are tiers of it and, and, and all that stuff. I, I hope you'll check it out. If you want to contact me, if you have questions uh, or anything that you want to submit as a Dear Vera question, you can leave a comment here. You can contact me by email, verawild at gmail.com. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Just If you look for Vera Wild, you will find ways to reach me. I'm not that hard to get a hold of so that'll about do it for this one so thanks so much for watching e even you know i i really appreciate my patreon supporters but i i appreciate if you're just here watching so thank you and until next time